You know, here in Polk County, uh, one of the organizations that is just doing a terrific job uh, helping our teens and educating them is Healthy Start Coalition. Now, um, they have a lot of great programs and a lot of great things that they do. And so here to tell us a little bit about what is going on with Healthy Start Coalition is Markina Butts Fisher. Hello. She is um, the Healthy Start Program Teen, um, sorry, she is the Teen Pregnancy Prevention Program Manager. Yes. <laughs> and she brought with her uh, Mariah Andreessen Otten. Mariah, <laughs> thanks for coming on today. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you guys are, um, you know, obviously, you're, you're reaching out to the teens. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about your program and what it is that Healthy Start Coalition uh, tries to achieve in the community. Yes, the Healthy Start Coalition's Teen Pregnancy Prevention Alliance is a program in the community that helps educate our parents and teens on pregnancy prevention. This came about because in 1994 we were ranked top 10 amongst the counties in Florida for highest in teen pregnancies. Mm -hmm. So in address, to address this issue, we had our Teen Pregnancy Prevention Alliance formed to reduce teen pregnancy rates. And since then, we have reduced our rates by at least 63%. Wow, 63%. Yes. Um, how, how do you accomplish that? I mean, like, what do you, how do you go about, you know, tackling such a huge issue? Well, in order for us to address the issue, we have to address the community. So we have three forms we do every month, um, three forms we do every year, our Let's Talk Month for parents and teens, our Faith Leaders Breakfast for our faith leaders in the community, and our Teen Summit in May for our teens throughout the community. Mm. Um, we are able to do this through our half cent sales checks from the Polk County Healthcare Indigent Healthcare. Okay. So through that program, we are able to go out to the community and address um, teen pregnancy prevention. With education, community outreach, it's the only way our community is going to come together and make a difference. Mm, very good. And, and I guess as, as is with a lot of education, especially when you're dealing with, with teenagers and with children and family issues, the parents are a huge part of that. And I, I noticed that you had mentioned, you know, a, a lot of the adult education with this. Yes, it's very important. Eighty-three percent of our teens throughout the nation say they want to hear more from their parents as that first line of communication than they want to do mm. their peers. So our parents are very important to the vitality and the education of our teens in the community. We really would like our teens to know more from their parents, but in order for that to happen, our parents also must be educated as to what to say and how to communicate with their teens. Excellent. Now, Mariah, you are the um, youth prevention um, specialist. Mm -hmm. how, do you, um, how do you work within uh, the Healthy Start Coalition in developing relationships with, uh, with these teenagers and, and educating them? So the youth leadership team is under TIPA. We're a part of TIPA, but it's um, a separate group in its own. Um, we, as a group with the kids, work um, with the community to kind of promote teen pregnancy prevention. Okay. Um, and it meets twice a month, every uh, second Tuesday of the month, or once a month, sorry. And um, we meet from 6.30 to 8, and it's a great opportunity for kids to come out and get community service hours and get to interact with their peers. Um, and, and it's really great at educating the community about those uh, efforts for teen pregnancy prevention. How do you how do you come in contact with them? I mean, are you getting in touch with the schools? Like, how do how do you get your base? Um, we do a lot of recruiting, um, some of which is in the schools. Um, we have other forms that we use for recruiting, um, but we are out there a lot in the community to try and recruit the teens to join and participate mm -hmm. in the youth leadership team. What are some What are some like simple things that people can do? Um, you know, to help to help you in your efforts as far as education um, towards teenage uh, pregnancy prevention? Well, I think it's great for anyone in the community to contact the Healthy Start Coalition. We are a great resource and we have resources for the community. Mm -hmm. um, we have tips on parents talking to teens, on teens talking to parents. We also have resources like the National Campaign to Prevent Teen and Unplanned Pregnancy and stayteen.org for parents to go online and research ways to communicate and get more facts instead of fiction in regards mm. to teen pregnancy prevention. Yeah. Well that's great. Um, you know so many so many ways, so many avenues to to get your hands on good resource and learn. I mean education is half the battle, right? Exactly. There should be no excuse when you have the resources afforded yeah. to you. And of course then you've also got uh, you know events that 
uh, kind of help, help teenagers from all over the place kind of come together and support each other. Um, uh, tell us a little bit about your, uh, your big event coming up. Yes, um, in honor of National Teen Pregnancy Prevention Month, we have our Teen Summit. It's an annual event we've been doing since 2000, mm -hmm. and this will be our 14th year actually in existence. This is a day conference for teens ages 10 to 19 who reside in Polk County. It's free for parents and teens. Teens who attend will receive community service hours. We will provide them with lunch and breakfast, as well as um, incentives throughout the day while they're getting educated and entertained. Right. I don't know any other place on Saturday that does that besides our <laughs> event. Well, you know, and, and I'm sure, you know, I'm sure there's a little bit of a stigma that comes along with, you know, okay, I don't want to go to some conference where we're just going to talk about sex and, you know, exactly. and all this stuff. But it's, it's really not like that, is it? Right. It's more than just that. When I can imagine as a teenager getting up on a Saturday just to come to another lecture or another school event. But instead, they come, they get entertained, they're getting free food, which is always an incentive for me. <laughs> but on top of that, they're also getting, there's going to be um, Let's Move There that will be teaching our groups right. how to dance and to fight obesity through movement. There will be someone there to help them with financial management. There also will be someone there to work with them on how to engage in communication. So yes, it's not like that day-to-day -day conference like school. It's something different and much more fun. And I yeah. encourage every teen to come out and participate. Excellent. Now you're doing a little something a little bit different this year with the with the Teen Summit, um, a registration, a pre-registration. Yes, um, in order for us to ensure the safety and liability of all attendees, we'd like for every teen to complete a registration form. This form can be found at the Healthy, Ste Healthy Start Coalition website, as well as calling the office directly and getting the form. It's very important that every teen completes the form before the event so that way we have the information already ready to go. And it's not even really that big of a form. I mean it's just a front and back and you know it's just your basic, yes, basic it's, kind of thing. It's not like some hundred question <laughs> you know form or anything like that. No, it's a simple one pager. A lot of it's just checking yes and no. And we need parent signatures so parents are aware that our youth are attending these events. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, it's always good, um, you know, especially this day and age that, that yes. parents know exactly what's going on with their kids. And, and, um, and an event like this, um, you know, I, I think, I think in, in some ways it's also important to stress that the, the Teen Summit is not just, you know, we were talking earlier, it's not mm -hmm. just an event to go to this is this is a partnership with the parents right yes we have a actual workshop for the parents to attend we'll have panels there someone will be there to talk about um, the new legalization of marijuana and the legislation we'll also have someone talking about financial management preparing for your youth going to college mm -hmm. as well as the Polk Academies that are being offered here in yeah. Polk County so it's very imperative it's a important. lot more than just yes. pregnancy prevention yes and yeah. a lot of people do get the stigma that oh if you're going you're just going to talk about sex in actuality, that may be one of the least things that are discussed. We mm. do address teen pregnancy prevention, but risky behaviors as a whole result in teen pregnancy. And if we just address a little bit and not get down to the sore, we'll keep having something that festers and festers from time to time to time. All right. Well, let's talk about some details here. The, the teen summit, uh, what time we're at? It's May 17th at Polk State College, which is on the Lakeland campus. It's from 8.30 is registration, and it will end at 3 o'clock p.m. It's free, 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 <laughs> and open to all. So please come out. We are looking forward to your attendance and your participation. Now, Mariah, um, you know, your, your, um, your event here, the Teen Summit, the, the theme is I'm a boss. Yeah. You know, how does, how does, um, how does your program help build self-esteem? Um, well, in order to build the self-esteem, it's it, like I said, the youth leadership team is really great um, for the kids to develop those interactions with other kids and um, working together with the community. So to feel like a boss, you know, we yeah. have to build their self-esteem through those interactions with each other. And um, a great way to do that is to get out in the community and um, be involved in things and feel empowered, you know. So they're bosses when they can feel like that, you know. Yeah. So it's really great. Absolutely. How does how does um, the self esteem affect you know I mean obviously you guys work all the time with teens and and obviously the the numbers that you gave us you know reducing teen pregnancy by sixty three percent how does self esteem play a factor in that? 
Well, when anyone is confident in what they're doing, they're more comfortable in being out in the community. So mm -hmm. when our youth, their self-esteem is promoted, when we're telling them you are empowered and encouraged to make a difference in this community, then they feel owned up to it. And then yeah. they realize this is my community. This is not just the community in which I live in. And then ownership of our community is very important. These are our future leaders, yeah. our commissioners Absolutely. and presenters in our community. So if they have leadership, then we know we're headed in the right direction. Excellent. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming thank on. Um, Healthy Start Coalition doing such a wonderful job. Keep up the good work. Thank you. And I know you're going to have a great time at the uh, Teen Summit here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank, thank you. you. That's the Teen Summit uh, put on by the Healthy Start Coalition. Uh, it's happening on May 17th at uh, Polk State College. Call 863-534-9224 or email sdoherty at healthystarthhp.org. Make sure that you sign up in time and pre-register. It's going to be happening on Saturday, May 17th from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m at the Polk State College campus in the LTB building. Uh, of course, the, the Polk State campus is located at 3425 Winter Lake Road in Lakeland. And uh, to register, make sure that you pre-register for this event. We need to get those forms signed uh, by the parents. Call 863-534-9224.